Hello, everyone. Welcome to Catherine's ESL classroom. In today's lesson, we are going to do tongue twisters. Let's have some fun doing tongue twisters because it helps us with our pronunciation. It also forces us to slow down when we speak. And we get to learn the sounds of the words much better in the English language when we are having conversations, right? So let's learn tongue twisters and also with some vocabulary words, just in case you don't know what each word means. And if you don't know, put them down in the comments and we will help you. So let's have some fun learning some tongue twisters. So thank you again, everyone, for joining Catherine's ESL classroom. Today's lesson with tongue twisters. Look at these tongues, they're all twisted up. Don't worry, I will help you. Okay, so let's be silly. Or more importantly, let's have some fun. Okay, so a tongue twister is a noun, okay? So the this part of speech is a noun. Tongue, see the tongue? Okay, all twisted here. Okay, it's all knotted up. So this would be an adjective and twister is the noun, but tongue twister is more of a noun. Okay, so a tongue twister is something that twists your tongue, or you can say it's all knotted up. It's also a phrase or sentence that is hard to say especially difficult to say quickly. So today we are going to do tongue twisters, but I will say them a lot slower. But what I'd like you to do is say them even faster. So we start out slow and then we keep saying them faster, gradually, okay? All right, so this is a funny picture here and a good tongue twister. So I'm going to say it first, and then I'd like for you to say it with me. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Okay, now say it with me. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. How did you do? Now, say it even faster. I'm gonna wait for you. Good job, how did you do? Good. Okay, so this is wood. We can chop them up, they're from trees, right? We can use this for fire. This is the woodchuck. Now, if anyone wanted to learn the woodchuck, a little bit more about it, Groundhog Day, look at my past video. So what does the word chuck mean? So look at this picture. The man is chucking garbage, right? He's throwing or tossing out garbage. He's saying goodbye, I'm putting it in the garbage. Okay, so that's what chuck means. Okay, so now we're gonna say it one more time. Let's say this together. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How did you do? Good job. Now say it as fast as you can. Practice, practice, practice. Okay. So here's another one. Now this is a little tough, okay? So we'll say it slowly. She sells seashells by the seashore. Little tough, right? So let's say it together. She sells seashells by the seashore. Good. Now try to say as fast as you can. Okay, so these are seashells, which you'll find by the sea, on the sand, sometimes in the water. 
This is the sea. And this is the seashore, okay? So when we say seashore, this is because this is the sea or the ocean, and this is the sand. So along this, okay, between the water and the sand is the seashore, okay? This is the seashore. Now let's try it again, okay? Practice, practice, practice. Let's do this together. She sells seashells by the seashore. How did you do? Okay, let's just try it a little bit faster if we can. She sells seashells by the seashore. How did you do? Now try to do as fast as you can. It's going to be funny. Do it with your friends, do it with your family. That's the beauty of tongue twisters, just to have some fun. Okay, here's another one. Okay, so St. Patrick's Day is coming up this month. All right, so let's do a little bit of an Irish tongue twister. Let's do this together. I'll do it first and then we can do it together. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. This is a tough one, okay? So this word, okay, sounds like just the, the R sound. So the W is silent. Okay, let's try it again together. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. How did you do? Good. So a wish is a want, a hope, or a dream. Irish is people from Ireland. And a wrist watch is a watch you put on your wrist. This is your wrist. How many people have a watch? I do. See, I have a wrist watch. Good. Now, let's do it again. Remember, we gotta practice as many as we can. Let's do this together. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. How did you do? Irish is kind of tricky, right? It's a tongue twister. So let's just say this word in blue. Irish, Irish. Good. Now let's say this tongue twister together again. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. How did you do? Tough, right? All right, there's another one. This one's not too bad. Okay, I'll say it first and then we'll say it together. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. That's a tongue twister. Now let's do it together. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. That's a tough one. Okay, so this is leather, okay? You see it in clothing, you see it in shoes, you see it in jackets, wallets, and even flasks, okay? This is a flask. Many people put alcoholic beverages in there. And this is a black leather jacket. And this is black leather shoe, okay? Now let's try it again. How many people are loving these tongue twisters? These are difficult, right? <clears throat> All right, together. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. That's tough, right? The leather, that's the tough one. So leather, leather, okay? You see how my tongue is sticking out? Don't worry, I'm not trying to be fresh, okay? Let's do this together again. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. All right, good job. All right, so I'm in New York. Are you in New York? 
All right, so here's a good New York tongue twister. I'll say it first and then we'll say it together. You know New York, you need New York. You know you need unique New York, okay? So this word in green is unique, unique. Good, now let's say this together. Remember the exclamation mark at the end. You wanna sound excited. You know New York, you need New York. You know you need unique New York. All right, how did you do? Great job. All right, so unique means individual or special, okay? So here in red, in red is a unique person, okay? So this means they are individual, such as me, Miss Catherine is unique. I'm individual and I'm special. Are you unique? Yes, you are. Okay, let's try this tongue twister again. All right, together. You know New York, you need New York. You know you need unique New York. Yes. Wanna do it one more time just for fun? All right. You know New York, you need New York. You know you need unique New York. All right. That's a fun one. Okay, this is a tough one. All right. This word right here, Okay, this is a tough word. This is sounds like surely, okay? Surely, okay? Surely, okay, one more time. Surely, okay, now we're gonna say this. I'll say it first, or you can say it together with me, and then we'll do it again. We surely shall see the sunshine soon. All right, I said it slowly. Let's do it again. We surely shall see the sun shine soon. How did you do? Now try to say as fast as you can. Tongue twister, right? Okay, so there's two ways we could spell sunshine, all right? So sunshine as one word, which is a compound word because there's two words put together, is a noun. Sunshine in two words, so sun was, would be the noun and shine would be the verb. Okay, let's do the tongue twister again. All right, but first I wanna give you examples of how we would say sunshine, all right, the two ways. So let's just pronounce Surely, surely, good. Now the examples of sunshine, there's two of them. The first one says, we surely shall see the sunshine soon. So sun would be the noun and shine would be the verb. And you'll notice here, the article, the, helps separate see the verb and sun, the noun. Now, the way we can use it as a noun, sunshine, we would say, we surely shall see sunshine soon, okay? So you notice here in the tongue twister, we're using the article the, okay? So this separates the two, the, the, the two verbs, see and shine, all right? So here, look, these are the two ways we can use it. I know there are a lot of questions on this, so these are the two examples of how we would use it in the verb and in the noun. Now let's say the tongue twister two times. Let's do it together. We surely shall see the sun shine soon. Again, we surely shall see the sun shine soon. How did you do? Good. Now try to say as fast as you can. That's funny, right? That was good, congratulations. This was a tough one. Okay, here's another tongue twister about an oyster and some noise. Don't worry, we'll go over vocabulary words. 
All right, this is a tough one. Let's say this slowly. I'll say it first and then we'll say it together. What noise annoys an oyster? Any noise annoys an oyster, but a noisy noise annoys an oyster most. Now, let's say this together. Now pay attention to the punctuation marks. We have a question mark, we have a comma for a pause, and we have an exclamation mark. So we're gonna say it with conviction, meaning we're gonna say it with meaning. Let's say it together. What noise annoys an oyster? Any noise annoys an oyster, but a noisy noise annoys an oyster most. Whew, that was tough, right? Now try to say as fast as you can. You know you can do it. Good, that was tough, right? The noisy noise, noisy noise. All right, so these two together, Let's try these, just the pronunciation together. Noisy noise, noisy noise. Okay, now let's say it. The pink and the blue together. Noisy noise, a noise. That's tough, right? Practice. All right, so this is noise. When we hear a noise, it's a loud sound. It bothers us to some people, right? It's a loud sound. A noise. So this woman is annoying this man, right? A noise means to bother someone. She's probably speaking too loud to this person. All right, so this is an oyster. An oyster is something a seafood that you'll find, you know, from the sea or the ocean, and it has a shell. So this would be the seafood inside the shell. All right, let's try it again. All right, so anyone know what this white circle is inside the oyster? All right, that's right, it's a pearl. Many times we will find a pearl. It's a, it's a, a precious stone or a semi-precious stone that you we will find in an oyster. Not all the time, but sometimes. All right, now let's practice this again. Remember with conviction, when we mean it, let's mean it. What noise annoys an oyster? Any noise annoys an oyster, but a noisy noise a noise and oyster most. All right, wanna do one more time? Okay. What noise annoys an oyster? Any noise annoys an oyster, but a noisy noise annoys an oyster most. How'd you do? All right. All right, here's another one. Okay, don't worry about the vocabulary. We'll learn them after. Okay, so it looks like the one of some of the toughest words here are the ed words, the past tense ed words, and this one. Okay, so this word sounds like biscuits. Biscuits. Good. This word has the ed sound as the t sound. Okay, so it sounds like these mixed, mixed. Good. This one is boxed, boxed, good. So keep practicing them. Now let's say this tongue twister together. Mix a box of mixed biscuits with a boxed biscuit mixer. How did you do? Good, let's do it again. Mix a box of mixed biscuits with a boxed Biscuit mixer. Great. Now try to say as fast as you can. Awesome. All right. So biscuits in means cookies. Okay. These are all the same type of cookies. These are all chocolate chip cookies. Okay. So let's just repeat 
how to say this word. Biscuits, biscuits. What are biscuits? Right, they are cookies. Now in the United States, biscuits are not cookies. They are something different. But outside of the United States, biscuits are cookies. All right, so these are mixed bi biscuits or mixed cookies, okay? Not in the United States. The United States, we don't say biscuits, we say cookies, okay? Now let's try it again. All right, how are we gonna do? Mix a box of mixed biscuits with a boxed biscuit mixer. Okay, repeat after me. Biscuits, mixed, boxed, good. Now let's say this tongue twister one more time, together. Mix a box of mixed biscuits with a boxed biscuit mixer. Good, okay, good job. All right, does anyone know what this word means? Batch. This says a box a, of biscuits, a batch of mixed biscuits, okay? A batch is basically something that we, when we um, make, when we bake the biscuits or the cookies, we are doing them in batches, okay? So this would be a batch of mixed biscuits or mixed cookies, okay? So a batch is something that we kind of bake um, or cook all at once. So we're making the recipe and then we're, we're making them all the same day. And that would be a batch. Now this would be a box of biscuits or a box of cookies. All right, everyone, how did you do on this one? This is a tough one, right? Because we have the ED words and then we have biscuits. All right, here's another one. This one's not too bad. Let's see how we do. Let's just say a proper copper coffee pot. How'd you do? All right, let's say this tongue twister together. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper copper coffee pot. How'd you do? Good job. All right, so what does proper mean? So when someone says, oh, you are slouching, you are bending over, as you see in this picture, this is not proper posture. That means you are slouching or you are bending over. This would be proper posture, okay? That means we are sitting upright and our back it, or our spine is in good position. All right, so this would be copper. Now, pennies used to be all copper, not anymore. So bonus question, do you know if pennies are still all made in copper? I think I told you. And what year it stopped, okay? Also, this is what they call copper wiring, okay? So copper is a metal, okay? Another bonus, is copper expensive? And where do we use it today? Put it down in the comments. Now, this would be a coffee pot. Now, there are many types of coffee pots, and this is one of them, but this is a copper coffee pot because it is made out of the metal copper, okay? Copper looks orangey. It's like an orangey yellow. Okay, now let's say it together. A proper copper coffee pot. Good. Now let's do the tongue twister together. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper copper coffee pot. How'd you do? Wanna do it one more time? Just a tiny bit faster? Okay. All I want is a proper cup of coffee made in a proper copper coffee pot. So what does it mean when someone says a proper cup? That means they want a good cup of coffee. 
Okay, let's do Welcome to Little Italy. This is a fun tongue twister. Let's say this together. Little Italy is literally littler than Italy. This is a tough one. All right, let's just say this word right here. Literally, 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 okay? So literally means exactly what I say is exactly what it means, okay? Let's do this one more time. Little Italy is literally littler than Italy. Good, how'd you do? Now try as fast as you can. All right, was that fun? Okay, so little means small, okay? So we have little, little hat, all right? So these are all small hats. They look like maybe children's hats or a small adult, okay? So this would be little, this would be littler because it's smaller than this hats. And then we have littlest, all right? So think of the comparative and the superlative, okay? The superlative would be littlists, all right? I do have a lesson on comparative and superlative. So look back on that, okay? So little means small. So Italy is a country in Europe, okay? So this is all of Italy, okay? This is all of Italy. Now, bonus question, what is the capital of Italy, all right? And looking at this map, what are the surrounding countries around Italy? Good. Put it down in the comments. I can't wait to see them. Okay, let's do this tongue twister together again. Little Italy is literally littler than Italy. This is tough, right? All right, let's just say this word together. Literally, literally. Now let's say this one. Littler, littler. I know it's tough. Okay, let's do this together. Little Italy is literally littler than Italy. Now, you wanna say it faster? All right, let's try. Little Italy is literally littler than Italy. How'd you do? All right, welcome to Little Italy. Now, bonus question. In New York, where in New York is Little Italy? Put it down in the comments. How'd you do everyone? Tongue twisters. Thumbs up, I hope you enjoyed this class and put down all the bonus question answers in the comments. And if you have any questions, please put them down in the comments because we would love to help you. All right, if you have any other tongue twisters that you'd like to practice, please put it down in the comments and I will do it in one of the next classes. All right, until next time, bye.